Hey guys, so this video is going to be me showing you what I'm packing in my dorm room. Now I have everything here except for a few things. So I guess I'll tell you what I don't have and then I'll show you what I actually can show you. My cat is playing with everything right now. She's in a bag, so sorry about that extra noise. But the things I don't have to show you are my refrigerator, my Keurig, my duffel bag full of clothing. Honestly, it's just so heavy I can't carry it. I also have all my hanging clothes still in my bedroom. And I don't have my towels because they're being washed and my sheets are being washed as well. But I do have um, the sheets for my bedroom at home to show you because I have the same sheets in my dorm room. There are these animal print ones. It's cheetah print. And honestly, this is the best cheetah print in my opinion. I looked everywhere for a nice cheetah print. And I actually got my sheets for college, my freshman year. So I've had them for a little while. They were from Bloomingdale's and I got the cheetah and the zebra set. I remember they were 50% off. And Bloomingdale's was the only place that I could find the twin extra long in the nice cheetah print. All the other cheetah prints were like colored. And I just wanted brown and black. So the brand is... Hold on. I know the tag's on here somewhere. I just want to let you guys know just in case you're looking for them yourself. They're Scent Station Ink. So these are full, obviously, for my bed at home. I just figured I'd show you the print because it's really nice. Then I also have these two pillows. They're just kind of like little throw pillows. I have normal pillows as well. Those are not here, of course. And I also have a body pillow. But I have a lot to show you. So I mean, sorry that I keep on saying all this stuff I don't have, but I have a lot around me right now but I have these two pillows and then I also have this seat pillow my room is definitely a pink and green theme or like pink and animal print I think green looks nice with pink so that's why I have that nice little accent pillow but pink is definitely the main color in my room so this doesn't really go but it doesn't matter to me I'm not that picky with my room but I'm actually gonna sit on this right now this is so nice on your bed highly recommend getting one and then I also have my comforter I had to get a new one this is a reversible one. It's uh, hot rose and cherry cream. So it's just two different shades of pink. I had one just like this, but my brush actually like exploded on it, which sounds weird, but the brush handle had like this gel stuff in it and it ruined my comforter. So I need another one and it comes with the comforter and then one sham. And then I also have this pink um, cover for my body pillow. This was from Kohl's. It's not the exact same pink, but I'm really not picky. Like, it doesn't really bother me that it's not the same. I also have this cute rug. I've had this rug for a while. You probably saw it in my other dorm room tour for, from um, freshman year. It's just hella kitty. My mom had to wash this like 20 times because there were so many stains on it. And this was from Target, but actually Target doesn't have this like Hello Kitty bath and bedding line anymore at least this type because my mom wanted to buy me a new one but she's pretty dirty but she doesn't look that bad anymore my mom like washed it like 20 times <laughs> uh, I also have my hangers to show you because I love my hangers I have these pink ones these are actually from Amazon I believe either Amazon or Target I'm pretty sure it's Amazon though a lot of this stuff I got my freshman year so I don't really remember exactly where it's from and then these hangers are actually from Victoria's Secret. I went to an outlet mall once back a long time ago, and I picked these up. They're awesome. They were really, really inexpensive. And I remember um, my friend, I was over one of my friend's house, and then her friend was over as well, and she took out this hanger, this exact same hanger. And I was like, I have those. And she's like, yeah, I actually work at Victoria's Secret, so that's how she got hers. I'm not sure if maybe you can buy them from the actual store anymore. I should have asked her, but I got my set from the outlet mall. And then... I guess right next to me, I have this jewelry thing. Now, I'm not big into like decorating my room a lot. Like I'm not gonna have a lot of like little knick-knack things and a lot of like things like that in my room. I'm just not really into decorating my dorm room like that. But I did really want to have my um, jewelry, all my necklaces on this. This was from Marshalls or Home Goods or one of those stores. I really love it. The one downside is, honestly, there's so much jewelry on here that she doesn't stand up straight. She, like, topples over. When it was on my dresser, I, there was no problem. It um, stayed up fine. So maybe it's just because there was, like, a rug underneath. I mean, that could be why. But she is full of necklaces. These are, like, all my favorite necklaces and the ones I really wear. So there's quite a bit there. And I remember my um, roommate freshman year, she actually used command hooks to hang up her jewelry, which I thought was a good idea. But I figured I had this, so why not? Bring it along with me. I have to like lean her up so it doesn't fall over. I guess the next thing right next to me, I'll just show you this next, <laughs> is this closet 
hanger thing. I actually showed this in yesterday's school video. You just um, hook it up to the top of your closet. And there's all these sections. And this is um, actually pretty full. I had like jeans, t-shirts, graphic tees, tank tops, sweaters in here. Like it's really jam-packed. As you see, like these things actually ended up snapping because I shoved so much crap in them. Yeah, I have a lot of clothes. That's all in the duffel bag, but I will be doing a dorm room tour so you can see that, that um, full of stuff. Next, I have my Brita. This is just a five cup one from Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, this closet thing was from, I wanna say Kohl's or Target, probably Kohl's though. And this pink, so I like that. I have coffee. Maxwell House. I have the creamers that I showed before. Some of this stuff might be familiar to you, but if you watched all the videos in my school series for these two weeks, then you probably have seen some of this stuff, but some of the stuff is new as well. But I did show these before. They don't need to be refrigerated. They're awesome. Then I have the spice rack to hold all my makeup products. Someone left me an amazing comment to either put ribbon in here or that, um, hard like liner paper that you line your drawers with so those are some good suggestions i'll definitely have to do one of them so my products can stay nicely on here then i have a box of tissues there's actually two boxes there's one over there and then i also have these little sock things my cats are fighting thanks cats thank you so i wear these um whenever i wear flats they're just like knee-high pantyhose i got them at walmart they're like 33 cents i have like a whole entire bag full of them. Then I have my plastic shower caddy thing. Now in here I actually have my hair products. Now I don't really want to go in depth into everything in here because there is quite a bit. It's actually completely full. Like you can't fit anything else in here. It is packed to the max. But I have a loofah, hair clips, false eyelashes. There's like toothpaste, my teeth whitener. I'll take the makeup wipes off the top and then there's just all this stuff in here. So there was really a lot in here. There's no way I would be able to pack it back up nicely, but once again, I am gonna be doing a room tour. But I try to limit my um, hair products only to my absolute necessities and like my um, shower products the same way because I have quite a bit and it might come as a huge surprise. These are not all of them. And I got this makeup case a while ago too. It's like a um, Betsy Johnson travel bag. It's really cute. I love it. I always use it whenever I travel anywhere. Then I have my brush holder. This is a utensil spinner thing, but I love this to hold my makeup brushes. I have another loofah, this Hello Kitty one. Now I'm also bringing my own toilet paper because I have a bathroom in my dorm room and not that I don't want to use like their toilet paper. I have no problem using the school's toilet paper. It's just that you have to go to like the RA to get it and if you don't feel like going one day or you're just being lazy and you just don't want to, I always think having some backup rolls is important. I have my philosophy's little mailbox that I actually got from Jane two Christmases ago and in here I have my philosophy body washes. I have the vanilla birthday cake which Jane actually got for me in a birthday set this year and then I have my little sample ones from Issa, and then I have this hand cream that actually came in the kit, and then I have another birthday cake one that I have to get out of my shower. I'm bringing basically all my makeup with me. I have my three draw bin that has face, eyes, and lips. I'm not gonna go in depth to this, but I mean, I have a whole makeup collection video, but I did clean out my collection and get rid of a lot of stuff. Now, I have two of these plastic bins, and honestly, they are so heavy. So maybe I'll be better off tilting the camera. They are full of stuff. So there are these three draw bins. So in here, I actually have pajama bottoms, pajama tops, and then the bottom drawer, I actually decided to fill with items that would take up too much room if I just kind of put them in like a suitcase. So I figured I would just pack them in these um, bins because I don't plan on storing them in here, but for now, for the traveling purposes of moving me into my dorm room, it's a lot easier. I would recommend doing that. Like, I have a fridge, like I said, and if I wanted to, I could put stuff in the fridge so it doesn't take up extra room. So like I said, I really just wanted to save a lot of space, and I actually was able to get the bottom drawer out. So you can see everything in here. I have my e.l.f. 
palette. Like I said, it's not going to be held in there, but for traveling purposes, it's a great idea to just kind of shove as much stuff as you can. I have some scarves. I have my belts in here. I have little handbags. I have my perfumes. And then I have this cute Hello Kitty brush holder. There's I have a plate, a um, bowl, and a glass. And then I have earmuffs. And now this is another thing that I'm holding my jewelry in. It's this Hello Kitty um, little box that I got, and it's actually upside down. Yeah, it's all my jewelry being uh, tossed around. <laughs> but this is just full of like rings, bracelets, earrings, and anything that's not a necklace that I want to wear. And then I have my side body bag, and then this Abercrombie scarf that I think I got when I was like in seventh grade, but I still love it. And I have this cute cheetah belt scarf. So that's everything in that drawer. I have another belt also, just my favorite Vera Wang belt. And then I have another one of those um, plastic things, and I actually have like my undergarments, you know, my bras and underwear. And then I have a, the bottom drawer is full of tights and stockings. I have so many tights and stockings, but I will show you what's in the top drawer because I do have something else different in there that's I would really recommend these plastic bins because you really don't have a lot of drawer space in college. You actually really don't have a lot of space at all. I mean, I'm packing a lot, but it will all fit. It's just, you know, if you're lucky enough to have a huge dorm room, then good for you, but I know my dorm room is not very big, so I kind of have to make do with a little bit of space that I do have, and I love to put a lot of stuff under my bed. So these plastic things are awesome. And this bin is just blue, and I actually didn't do that on purpose, but I was just thinking it's a really good idea that um, my underwear is in the blue bin and my pajamas are in the clear one, so you don't really see everything. <laughs> but in here, once again, just for traveling purposes, I have one of these now i think that these are called a power strip and you can have these in your dorm room but you can't have an extension cord because extension cords are fire hazards i'm not really sure what the difference is i feel like this would be a bigger fire hazard but you're allowed to have this obviously every dorm room is different every college campus is different maybe you can't have these but to the best of my knowledge these are a-okay at all the colleges i know <laughs> And then I also have Wonder Hangers, which I love these. So what you do is you put your clothes on this, like you put your hangers on here, and then you kind of just let it drop down, and then this hangs at the top. And if you have a small closet, because you live in a dorm room, this is awesome. And actually, I know some dorm rooms you have to share a closet. Luckily, I don't have to do that because I could not imagine sharing a closet. So if you have to share a closet, Pick up some wonder hangers. I got these at Bed Bath & Beyond. I have cotton squares, my e.l.f. brush cleanser, and then my favorite hairspray of all time. This is Suave Extreme 10 hairspray. Love this hairspray, it's so nice. It doesn't like make your hair crusty or gross or anything like that. And then I also have another um, train case. This one's from Victoria's Secret. I actually got it a while ago in like, a gift exchange with one of my friends. So in here, I have just a few more makeup things. I have my Coastal Scents Prism Palette. I have my Giselle Cosmetic Eyeshadows, my Elf Eyeshadows, and all my makeup brushes. And then, yeah, like, look at all those makeup brushes. You can't actually see them that well. There they are. So all those makeup brushes, mascaras, and then two Elf Beauty Books. So definitely have a lot of makeup. I don't know if you guys want, like, my makeup collection when I'm at school or if you'd rather wait till like the summer because that's when you could see it if you want to see like my at home setup but my at home setup hasn't changed it's just my makeup that has changed like it's still on my vanity so I mean I'll link my makeup collection down below if you guys want to check that out but just let me know if you want like an updated collection and I can do that because I do have more makeup but I guess you can see my college dorm room setup if you want that <laughs> okay so that's Basically everything that I'm packing, there is some things like I said that I didn't show. It's like my sheets, my towels, the fridge, that sort of stuff. But for the most part, this is everything. Oh, I did forget something. Hold on, I just looked over. I also have this um, metal container. And I also have this cup in there that I hold makeup brushes. But I have my L'Oreal um, cleansing conditioner. I have my blonde shampoo my um, Redken Extreme Conditioner, my Keratin Shampoo, 
Pantene Pro V Shampoo, um, All Soft Heavy Cream by Redken, and then the L'Oreal Ever Sleek Conditioner, and then two lotions. I don't apply lotions, but I figured maybe if I bring them, maybe I'll start, but I doubt it. But that's everything I'm bringing in my dorm room, though. Like I said, um, definitely expect a dorm room tour, and I'll probably film what my dorm room looks empty and then what it looks nice and uh, filled. And I probably will get that up as soon as possible because I don't want my dorm room to get a little unorganized and then you'll probably never get a dorm room tour and I don't think my roommate is moving in right away I think she's gonna be moving in like the next day so that is good for me so I can film that <laughs> so I'm gonna go I'll talk to y'all later bye everyone